There are major questions surrounding security at the new World Trade Center, which is supposed to be one of the most secure buildings on Earth. Well, that's after a 16-year-old made it all the way to the top of the building, passed a sleeping security guard, and let everybody know about it. Now, Lynn Barry is up early this morning with more on exactly what happened. So what did he have to get past to get to the top? Uh, you know, and how could it happen, right? Yeah. First and foremost, even the mayor of New York City is saying, we don't know how this is yeah. possible. But in his own words, Justin Caseo is telling police he basically went under a little one-foot hole in a fence, climbed up some scaffolding, went up an elevator with an elevator operator who didn't ask any questions to the 88th floor, climbed up more scaffolding, got to 104, hung out for two hours in the spire until a security guard looked at him and said, this guy shouldn't be here. He noticed a little red light on his camera and called police. How could something like this, the layers of security, right. and you mentioned that sleeping security guard, he's now out of a job. So, okay, so who is the 16-year-old? And I mean, were they up to no good or was it to try to prove something? Yeah, you know, that's the, what his friends are saying. He was a daredevil. He was an adventurous kid. He did a lot of this park hour thing, por parkour thing. I'm learning too. Uh, but like I mean, we I do with, I know, is. Okay. <laughs> with most <laughs> teens, we're learning about them on Facebook and Twitter, right? So he's just this adventurous kid. He's not a wolf in sheep's clothing, but now he's charged with trespassing, and that's the headline here. So for his part, what did he have to say for himself? Anything? You know, he's not speaking to the media right now. He's going to high school like he normally would. He's going to appear in court next week, but he's not explaining himself. Probably a smart move. His lawyer's probably informing him not to do so. What was this building supposed to be in terms of the most secure in the world? Obviously replacing um, um, the towers that fell on 9-11. Mm -hmm. It was supposed to be, I would think, a beacon of um, security. That's what has everyone scratching their head, right? This is billed as the most secure building in the country. Layers of security is normally how we see it. All of those failed. A sleeping security guard? You don't hear about that. That's for the movies. That, this, is, this is a 16-year-old kid that was able to slip through the cracks. The bad guys out there, you would hope that they're not watching something like that. You would hope that this never happens again and could not possibly happen again. So in some respects, you almost want to thank the 16-year-old. Lynn Berry, thank you.